Hi, my name is Robert. I'm 23 and I have a secret identity. I wear diapers and act as a baby, but don't judge me yet before you hear my story. When I was a really young kid, everything was great, but when I turned eight, everything kind of fell apart. My parents owned a business and they got in trouble for stealing money from their employees. It came as a real shock to everyone. Even more shocking, I was put into foster care while my parents sat in jail. I had to learn to do everything by myself. I was taking care of a ton of siblings at the foster home. Changing their diapers, feeding them, it was a lot. While I was there, I started being really jealous of the babies. Why wasn't anyone taking care of me? Who was there to make me feel safe? One night, I was feeling like garbage. On an impulse, I put one of the baby's pacifiers in my mouth. I instantly felt safe. But was I seriously sucking on a baby pacifier? Every time I asked myself why I was doing it, I just wanted to do it more. I started stealing the foster home's pacifiers. When they started noticing how many were going missing, they didn't even think to look at me. By the time I entered college, I was sneaking pacifiers into school and sitting in the bathroom stall to suck on them. Anytime I felt scared, I went to the bathroom and sucked on the pacifier. But soon, that wasn't satisfying enough. I started wearing the baby's bibs. I started imagining myself as a baby, being taken care of, being rocked, everything. It was the only time the world felt calm and quiet for me. Around that time is when I met Bridget. She was the first girl I was ever really interested in. And there were sparks when I was around her. Soon, we were dating and getting really serious. I loved Bridget, but I had to keep my secret from her. But there was one thing I hadn't done yet, but really, really wanted to. I wanted to wear a diaper. I know, it sounds gross. I don't even know how to explain why I wanted to do it. But I did. So I went out and bought some adult diapers. Everyone was probably looking at me like I was buying them for my grandmother. In reality, I felt like a freak. Wearing them made me feel on top of the world. I mean, yeah, they were a little nasty sometimes, or, you know, all the time, but they made me feel relaxed. The problem came when Bridget wanted to be a little more intimate. I couldn't change in front of her. I couldn't take my pants off. I couldn't even have her touch my thigh or back without filling the diaper. What would she think of me then? She started getting weirded out, thinking I was hiding something. The day came when I was at her house and I had to change myself. She started knocking on the door, asking what was taking so long. I started panicking. What if she walked in and saw me lying on the floor like a man-child? I panicked and flushed the diaper down the toilet. That was the wrong move. The entire bathroom started flooding. Toilet water went everywhere. I was freaking out, trying to stuff the diaper down, trying to lay towels on the ground. Bridget and her dad came into the bathroom and saw the disaster. Picture that. Me standing in the bathroom with a diaper blocking this man's toilet? So you know what I did? I ran past them. I ran out of the house. I hopped into my car and I peeled out of the driveway. I blocked Bridget's number. I blocked her on social media. How was I supposed to face my girlfriend after I clogged her toilet with a diaper? That's when my baby behaviors got even worse. I started moving the babies out of their cribs and sleeping in them. Then waking up before anyone was up and putting the kids back in. I was stealing beds from babies. I felt such shame and disgust with myself. But I couldn't stop. Around then is when I started looking into my condition. To my surprise, there were thousands of people that did the same thing I did. Even more exciting, there were websites where you could find an adult that would treat you like a baby. An adult that would change you, feed you, everything. I was desperate for someone to understand me, to make me feel normal. So I posted an anonymous advertisement. A girl responded and told me to meet her at a motel downtown. I'd never been so nervous in my life. I waited in the room, bib on, pacifier in, sweating bullets. What if this was a trick? When someone knocked and I opened the door, I knew it was a trick. Bridget was standing outside the door. I instantly started crying begging her to not tell anyone. That's when I realized Bridget was just as surprised as I was. 
She wasn't here to trick me. She didn't even know it was going to be me. Bridget told me she had tried to get a hold of me, that I shouldn't have been embarrassed. She thought I had a condition or something, and clearly I did. She wanted to care for people, and I wanted to be taken care of. Bridget and I started talking about our childhoods. She made me realize I was going to want this until I dealt with my abandonment and my neglect as a kid. I had been forced to grow up too fast. And because of that, I wanted to feel safe like I had when I was a baby. Because of Bridget, I started going to therapy. That doesn't mean I quit everything cold turkey. Bridget and I became friends, and our secrets are safe with each other. Bridget plays her role as caretaker sometimes, and I play the role of a baby while she takes care of me. In the long run, we're hoping to get the help we need to feel safe and secure again. Until then, I'm really lucky to have found someone who copes the same way I do. Did you like this story? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Dear Diary as we post new stories every week.